Welcome to the Jim Show with your host, Jim. What I want to talk to you about today is distractions. Now, I think I have mentioned in the past that I've done a pretty decent job of getting rid of the distractions in my life. Specifically with my phone, for the most part. I cut back on the use of certain apps and I actually turned off notifications on almost everything so that my phone is never saying, hey, come check me out, you know, look at this text message or WhatsApp chat or email. I choose when to use my phone and my phone does not run my life. I did the same thing on my computer so I don't have those little pop-ups, you know, popping up in the corner saying, hey, check me out, here's an email or message or whatever. Turned off all those, all that stuff. So I'm not being constantly interrupted by distractions. I also cut back on, you know, watching stuff on Netflix and all the general distractions that you normally think about taking up time in your life. Now, this whole idea of distractions went to a whole nother level yesterday, thanks to Kyle Cease. I basically had a, an insight. Well, he did, and he shared it with me in his book. Now what Kyle talks about is this idea that what distractions are or the reason that we feel like engaging in them is because our mind is trying to get us to not listen to what our heart is calling us to do. Does that make sense? Our heart's saying, hey, do this thing, this usually scary thing, like leave your relationship, quit your job, you know, go live in a shipping container in the woods, whatever. Your heart is telling you to go do this thing that seems crazy and your mind's saying, whoa, I don't want you to be thinking about that or feeling that urge. Let's go eat some Doritos and watch Netflix all day and forget about that, right? Or let's go hang out with people and forget about that and just zone out. Or, right, let's play a video game. Let's go do whatever. Let's go get distracted by something, anything, so that we don't have to hear the call of our heart, right? The call of the universe, the call of infinite intelligence and all this information that it's sending into us. Let's go get distracted so we can just forget about those scary things and what it's urging us to do. And so after I read that, I thought about some of the distractions that I still engage in. I thought about, you know, when I have that urge to go eat something that's you know, outside of my raw vegan standard diet, what is really going on, right? What signal from my heart am I trying to ignore when I do that? Or if I wanna go zone out and play a video game for a little bit, like I used to view that as, okay, I just need some downtime to recharge, which yes, we all need that, but maybe that's better spent as quiet, reflective time, figuring out what it is your heart's trying to tell you rather than you know turning off turning that off right you can relax meditation is relaxation i think we fall into this trap where i'm not really relaxing unless i'm doing something that's like a real distraction right that's not true that's something that i realized because i would use those distractions as the downtime for my subconscious to work on things and i and i thought that that was totally normal and fine and it is to some extent I'm not I'm not saying you should never do that but you should just realize that the reason you want to do that is because you're trying to drown out your heart you're trying to drown out the message about what you should really be doing right because the job you're in is probably not what you should really be doing with your life and so on those weekends you just want to get distracted from how you're wasting your life maybe I, you know, I'm not trying to say that we're all doing that, but, but I was for a long time. I was just wasting my time, you know, playing this role as a military person. That was not what I was supposed to be doing. It wasn't what my heart wanted me to do, and I was doing it. And so I would try to get distracted through alcohol, you know, interaction, hanging out with other people, crappy food, video games, movies, TV shows, etc. I was distracting myself from my heart telling me I needed to get the hell out of the military. That is what was going on. And that is what still goes on today when I want to eat those foods that, you know, are a little bit crappy. I want some chips. 
right? I want to eat some cooked vegan, or I want to eat some sourdough. There's one that really did a number on me the other week. Made me feel like crap for a while, but I, I had that urge for it. And so now, when that happens, I'm going to just, what Kyle recommends you do, and what I'm going to do, is he says, you should just sit quietly and think about why you're feeling that urge for a distraction. So what is my heart trying to tell me that I should be doing when I'm feeling that urge? What is it? Right? Because that's what needs to happen there. Don't get just don't give in to the distraction and then just totally lose the message that your gut and your heart is trying to tell you, that your body is trying to share with you. But just sit quietly, relax, and figure out what the message is. And then, you know, follow it. Use whatever you need to use and, and follow that message. Just go for it. So it's a whole new way to look at distractions and maybe a more motivating reason to not give in to them. Perhaps it is for me anyway, knowing that that's what's going on here. In my mind saying, oh, don't listen to your heart. That's scary. Go get distracted. Now that I know that, it kind of gives me a new perspective and hopefully it does for you too. I'll see you tomorrow.